Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a video on how to host machine inside Ableton and take advantage of Ableton's MIDI effects and MIDI routing capabilities. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a ton of content and more coming out every week. I find the MIDI routing in Machine to be a little limiting. There's not a whole lot of options available. If you want to do some more complicated processing, like building your own arpeggiators or scale builders in Reactor or whatever, so this is a part of a short tutorial series on overcoming those problems with machine and I've already done a video on how to build templates to play back your instruments in scale and another one on using a standalone version of Reactor to route MIDI into machine and this is um, the method that I would recommend most the tutorial we're going to do today because it just gives you the most control and the smoothest uh, integration of the three methods in my opinion. Alright, so let's browse to the plugin menu and select an instance of Machine 2 and drag it to the first MIDI channel. All right, and so once inside machine, I'm just going to load up a s instrument sound to use as an example. And your machine hardware, if it's plugged in, should load directly into machine mode um, when you open up a copy of machine 2. So that means this sound we just loaded will load onto a single pad on the machine hardware and we can play back that single note. And by switching into instrument mode on the left of the group view area, um, we can access more MIDI notes to play back our instrument with. These don't load into any particular scale, however. So now let's load up an effect from the MIDI effects section. I'm just going to choose one of the arpeggiator presets to keep it simple. And by default, this is not going to work properly because the way that machine, the machine hardware works is it's going to route its MIDI data directly into the machine software, even though it's a plugin in Ableton, which I find to be a little counterintuitive, but that's fine. So. What we're going to do is we're going to switch our machine into MIDI mode by, um, I don't know, on the machine micro, you press the shift button and the F1 button. I'm not sure if it's the same on the other hardwares or not. And when you do, any note that you press on the machine hardware should be sent to the arpeggiator and then into the machine software. So we have a bunch of different MIDI effects available to us here. Uh, we've got an arpeggiator already. We can turn the arpeggio into a chord progression by choosing something out of the chord menu. I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, the fourth chord here. And that might end up sounding a little discordant because um, the chord module doesn't really try to keep things in scale. So we can actually load up a scale module directly after it and it'll take all of the MIDI notes coming out of the fourth chord module that we have and translate them so that they are a part of the C major scale. And 
finally, there's the MIDI effect track where you can take several of these effects and load them into a single file for easy saving and loading later on. And some of these are pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty simple to create a MIDI processing chain in Ableton, and it's quite powerful as well. Now let's look at how we can record this data into machine. First, we're gonna set our machine to record using the record button at the top of the screen here. And as soon as we press play in Ableton, we'll start recording any MIDI data that comes into machine. And once the data is recorded, we can play it back by simply pressing play on the Ableton clock. So this MIDI data coming in from Ableton is going to play on whatever instrument we have currently selected inside of machine. So if we load up a second sound and make that the active instrument, you'll hear that becomes the receiving instrument for incoming MIDI data from Ableton. All right, so we have other options inside of Ableton as well. You can also load up an instance of reactor and use a generative sequencer or an arpeggiator made in reactor and route that MIDI data into machine. Um, if you have a version of Ableton Suite, then Max for Live also has a lot of great capabilities for manipulating and routing MIDI data all over the place. And it's my hope that Native Instruments will eventually get the integration between Reactor and Machine up to par with where Ableton and Max for Live are because there is some pretty great integration going on there. All right, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please check out our website at machineskills.com, and I'll see you next week.